region, and he is in town tonight to take in the action between the majors and the ice dogs, and Julie had an opportunity to catch up with him prior to tonight's game. Thanks, Al. I'm here with Nick Vitucci, who is head coach and director of hockey operations for the Toledo Walleye in the East Coast Hockey League. Now, when you come out to a game like this, what's the difference between scouting for the NHL as opposed to scouting for the East Coast Hockey League? Well, in a sense, and it, it's really tough to say, but you, you, you're looking for the players who aren't destined for the NHL, almost the, the, the player that's not the superstar at this level, but the one who maybe with another year or two can develop into being a superstar. So really the guy who's slipping through the cracks is the guy that we're kind of looking for at this point. Is anyone here tonight that you've got your eye on that maybe you might want for your team? Well, you know, I'm fortunate, and, and everybody here is familiar with Ed Burkholder. He's, uh, he's my head scout and has been for a long time, so he obviously does a great job and really has good knowledge of all the players in the OHL. And I'm just really here just to kind of see what, what he thinks on some players and see how his, uh, his notes and his thoughts compare to what I'm going to see here tonight. Now you have five ECHL championships, four as a coach, one as a player. For someone like Dave Cameron, what kind of advice would you give to him for preparing for something like the Memorial Cup? Well, Dave, uh, Dave has plenty of uh, knowledge, obviously, what to do to prepare a team. But, you know, it's such a unique tournament that uh, uh, you go through a round-robin format, so you're able to get a good feel for the teams. Uh, but then once you get into the play downs, it's, uh, it's really one game elimination. And I think a lot of it is probably the same that you do in overtime in the NHL that we've been so fortunate to see. Get pucks to the net, make sure you get traffic in front of the net and try and jam for rebounds. And that's what we've really seen in the National Hockey League in, in these overtime formats. And I think uh, the Memorial Cup, once you get into the semifinals and finals, really is, is an overtime game. So desperation, again, put pucks in the net, make sure you're jamming in front of the net and getting rebounds. You currently hold the record for winningest goalie in the East Coast Hockey League. What, what do you think about J.P. Anderson or Mark Byzantine on the ice here today? Well, you know, they're great goaltenders, and, and uh, the, the game has changed so much since I played, though. This butterfly style and this blocking style that all these goaltenders do, they're big and they move so well once they're down. Um, it's really a, a game that I'm unfamiliar with because back when I played, it was really a stand-up style game, and you're really relying on reflexes. But, um, um, you know, it's nice to see these goaltenders and how they, they're – they, they react under pressure, and uh, that's what playoff hockey is, is pressure hockey, and it's, uh, it's fun to see. It really is. Now, you're a member of the ECHL Hockey Hall of Fame. You've played in the ECHL, and now you coach in it. You must really know this league quite well. Well, I, I do, and, and for I'm very fortunate. I thank my lucky stars every day. My career went the way it did, and uh, I think in a game where most people uh, or a time when most people feel like they're, you know, they, they underachieve, and, and, and we all look in the media as, uh, as players that you want more out of, I think I look back at my career, and I overachieved in a big way, and uh, really thankful I was able to play as long as I did and, and, uh, and still in that league now as a coach so it's been a lot of fun uh, something I wouldn't trade for anything. Now looking at some of the guys on the ice here today or some other guys in the OHL who might be considering the ECHL, what would you tell them to try to maybe bring them to your team? Well, you know, it's a league again, it's a second chance league. It's players who've slipped through the cracks but still have an opportunity to, to make it to the National Hockey League. We're proud to say our league has uh, moved over 460 players to the National Hockey League from the ECHL, let alone coaches and media people and front office people. So uh, the biggest thing I tell players when they first come down here is don't think, think of this as a death sentence, that it's just an opportunity for you to reprove yourself and maybe show some people wrong and uh, we've been fortunate we've had a lot of people to do that mm -hmm. all right one more question sure. you've been watching a lot of hockey you're here at the game tonight what are your thoughts on this matchup can the Niagara Ice Dogs beat this majors team well you, you certainly think so again this playoff hockey so anything can happen they've obviously got good thoughts playing in here with the win they had in game two so I don't see why not by any means and uh, you know I know it might be a David versus Goliath type series because of all the all the the strengths that Mississauga has but uh, playoff hockey is unique because anything can happen in playoff hockey so I'm looking forward to a big game um, this is an arena I grew up playing in as a kid growing up in Welland Ontario so it's uh, it, it'll be fun I'm just looking forward to it thanks so much Nick good luck in the future thank you all right let's take it back to Al thanks very much 